Hi guys, today we'll be learning about the multiplication properties. Now there are four multiplication properties and we'll go through them one by one so that you understand them. The first property is commutative property. Now the commutative property is basically reverse operations. So if you have 4 times 7, in the commutative property you can write this as 4 times 7 or 7 times 4. Either way, it does not matter because you will st still get the same product of 28. So, that is the commutative property. The next property of multiplication is the associative property. So that is associative property. And the associative property is pretty much like the commutative property, except for in the associative property, you have three numbers and two of them are in parentheses. So for example, if we have two times six times nine, and two and six are in parentheses, you can also write this as two times six times nine, and then put six and nine in parentheses. Either way, you'll still get the same product. Now, the third property of um, multiplication is the identity property. Now, when I think of identity, it means the same thing as you, right? Like an identical person. Well, identity property and multiplication is pretty much the same thing, except for it's math related. So in identi ent identity property, if you multiply any number by one, you will get the same answer. So what I'm trying to say is, if you have two times one, your product will always equal two. If you have 554 times one, you will still get 54. So that is that identity property because you're still getting the same product. The last but not least property of multiplication is the zero property. Now the zero property has to do something with zeros. So if you have, let's say, maybe a big number like 3,026 times zero, no matter the value of the 3,026, your answer will always equal zero. So that's why it's called the zero property, because no matter what number it is, because numbers are infinite, even if you have the biggest number in the world that you can even think of, and you multiply that by zero, your product will always equal zero. So that's it for the multiplication properties. If you want to understand this topic better, you can always visit our website, and there you will find more examples of these properties, and you can practice them, and I hope you guys understood, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!